Begin by connecting your Wacom Intuos tablet to your computer via the included USB cable. This cable is also used to charge the tablet. Next, open a web browser and go to wacom.com slash start slash Intuos. Scroll down and under step two, download the driver for your platform, whether Mac or Windows, and then open the application to begin installation. Unplug your Intuos tablet from the USB cable. On your computer, open the Bluetooth settings, and on the tablet, press the center power button. On your computer, in the Bluetooth settings, you should see Wacom Intuos appear. Select this and choose Pair or Connect. From here, when you wish to use the tablet, you should press the center button and it will automatically connect, which is indicated when the blue light becomes solid. The Wacom Pen behaves in a similar fashion to a standard mouse. To move the cursor across the screen, hover the pen just above the surface of the tablet and move it. In the default setting, you may also pick up and move the pen and hover it over points on the tablet, and the cursor will match the position on the screen. For example, picking up and placing the pen tip at the top right corner of the tablet will jump the cursor to the top right corner of your screen. Tapping the surface of the tablet with the pen is the same as a single click with the left mouse button. You can also double click by double tapping. On the pen are two buttons. The button closest to the tip is the scroll button. You can click and hold this button down and then place the pen tip on the tablet surface and drag up or down to scroll through a document, website, or other window. The second button on the pen behaves as a right click with a mouse. To adjust settings for preferences on how the pen and tablet behave, open the Wacom Tablet Properties application. On a Mac, this can be found under System Preferences. Navigate to the Mapping tab. If you are preparing to annotate PDF documents in Adobe Reader on Windows 10, uncheck the box for Use Windows Ink. In the Mapping tab are two modes, Pen Mode, which is the default mode where the cursor position will match the position of the pen on the tablet as shown in the previous section. Mouse Mode uses relative placement like a more traditional mouse, allowing the user to pick up and move the pen without changing the cursor positioning. Either setting will take practice to determine your preference. Open the PDF document you wish to annotate with Adobe Acrobat Reader. To begin annotating, go to View, Tools, Comment, and then Open. At the top of the program window are a variety of tools for various annotation options on your document. For handwriting or drawing, select the Pencil tool. You will see options to adjust pen color and line thickness. Before writing, it may be easier to write on your document if you zoom in to a level of at least 200%. Each time you write, it will be saved as a comment visible in the panel on the right-hand side. To erase a portion of your comment, select the Eraser tool. To move or resize a comment, use the Selection tool, which is the arrow icon. You may then click and drag to move the comment or use the bounding box handles to resize that comment. However, this is best done immediately after creating the drawing or writing. It's important to note that if you do not change tools when writing on your document, your writing will be saved as one single comment, like in this example. When done annotating, go to File, Save As, and save a new version of this PDF. It may be a good idea to add your initials to the file name as an identifier. 